na kushe kushe una adu na we tell una all thank you thank you thank you thank you we una always the patronize with with platform them and we want for wish una all the best we always una the day with we una share our live and comments and questions them so we want for make una know yes we appreciate waiting una they do for this platform um I got to share about telling to which and we sister station we know we had once again welcome to this platform today today we get um honorable Mohammed Bangura of the APC we get for can talk to we so please you know, stay with me on share the live on share the live on share the live um also on our comments them and question them we'll read them out please um we want to wish you all the best and have a pleasant so that uh, we will believe so that gets a pleasant weekend so please you know, stay with me i'm bringing um with me tell it to which welcome again which thank you very much i got in shaba i want to take this opportunity again for welcome on all on board this platform um we loyal and faithful fans and friends we always they turn up when um, we get a uh, program. I want to tell you thank you and wanna continue for share this video. If this is not the first time you come to this platform, welcome. And uh, like you say, we get Honorable Mohamed Bangura of the APC. Uh, we go can talk to we about um, certain statements them and other things them we don't they happen um, after the election. So on a continue for stay with me, me and a Rachel Bangura Davis on a follow me page on Facebook, Rachel Bangura Davis, and uh Una Seth go get any notification we are come on live. So on I want to say thank you to everybody and welcome. Yes, um unfortunately we for put um honorable Muhammad Bangura on camera, but we get serious issues with um on 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 camera so um we'll get for brian cam um on on whatsapp we'll get for brian cam on whatsapp because from over the past an hour now we'll get serious issue with um honorable bangora but um you know the internet the the gear serious serious problem so what we're for do now we'll get for brian cam on on whatsapp you know um well welcome honorable um Mohamed bangora Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's so it's uh, I'm so sorry, you know, we we from the past one hour now we have a we come on camera but the internet the they mess you up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Well well I the country when I when I when I to this in this internet to really country, please. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. The internet is so bad. Yes. You want for tell me increase the volume because yes, you know my for increase the volume to you because yeah. People are for right. more, yeah. And also increase the volume from your time. Yeah. Yes, would it get you? Would it get you loud and clear? Richard, it gets um honorable loud and clear. Yes, and family I hope so now they get um Mohammed Homer Mohammed Bangura as well. Thank you very much. So honorable, how was the um the campaign before the election? How was it because we soon are all over the place? How was the campaign? We get difficulties, and uh, more so we we start with campaign and uh, carry the districts because mm -hmm. um, Dr. Samura Kamara be say everybody who said Mbona must say come out and they for base and campaign. Mm -hmm. So because of that, we get to retreat back and carry the retreat and carry the and base and carry the and they are there for over one month to the campaign up and down. The campaign be get challenges, but thank God we will be able to overcome some of the challenges today. Yes, so um after um the, the, the campaign we we come to election, we see so many problems then um um during the election day. So what you as an honorable um what are you take on the election day? Uh the election day is peaceful, it's peaceful to we side not carry the street because I cannot speak for the entire country. We all say it's peaceful. There are no problems, and the people then vote on time, and they close the ballot box, and we start for counts. So everybody be very peaceful, and um, we we'll get the results. We are not count. 
So generally, are you are you assess the, the, the election generally, not only now you the the Eagle side, but generally the whole country. The whole country, as we say, as a party, we get challenges in uh, many areas, especially that is some part that is southeast. Mm -hmm. You know, we get challenges where we don't have party agents and um, some people um, uh, some of our supporters cry out to the to vote and they they can for beat them, they can for pull them out of their places, they can for wound them, some of them spend the the the, 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 the vote in the cell. So that area they the area they will not even access them at all. You know, and, and that area that we we supposed to get to places like Pujel, places like Bun, and and, and and Kailau, even in Kenema, we have challenges there, and some parts of Nabu. So the election generally will not be going well to not the southeast, but for we in the northern province and western and western area, you know, a uh, few hiccups. Okay, um, um, on I will make a take you 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 back anyway um during the time when i'm in a parliament you know one um honorable way um this present governments be, be the target so many times so the um honorable um Muhammad Bangua, they arrest you they, 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 they lock you up why this government will attack you so many times well you rightly you rightly you, you rightly as you rightly see from the one where we take the we go for take the vote of office mm -hmm. and, um, Parliament from that you know, they be in targets with why why the targets you why why you may be the targets why you may be one of the main targets for some reason the effort we just believe see during the the, the campaign the electionary period mm -hmm. I was I was I was I was I was um raising some issues as I as they see they see me mouthing and uh because of that they feel say as I don't come back in the parliament I'll continue to be mouthing and uh, as a result, they for try for silence me. Throughout the my lifetime in Parliament, I've spent uh, most time in and out in the police stations. As I tell you, the last day before yesterday, now I go court because of the last case we have been getting as a campaign. They arrest me a judge with five count side. Hmm. You know, and they sit with the card in a court, and um, obviously now they don't they don't get valid yet. So I don't go through lots of trying times now, EPC, with them um, in the hands of the SLPP. It's, it's so it's, it's so difficult. I tell you for, for the truth, my brother, it's so difficult. Okay, I'm Rachel. All right, welcome again, Mohammed, uh, Honorable Mohammed Bangura, and. Um, I just want to let me go to um, after the election, you know, the post-election um, uh, um, outcome. Yeah. And um, we all see and uh, we all are aware of how the international community, they don't take stands based on the outcome of the election. And um, also your party where you self represent. Um, what do you think about the outcome of the election as to how the people then turn up for votes, what in a young take on the outcome of the election? The outcome of the elections will get problems, right? And uh, especially with tabulation of uh, uh, results, will get problems. There is no transparency at all. You know, say for example, now carrying the streets in which I come out. When we don't tabulate all the election uh, and the, the, the votes same way we all look at, SLPP gets the 9,000, 9, close to 9,900 uh, 8, something votes. Now they're going to carry the carry the street. That is the five constituencies. Constitu the votes will not check out. To my surprise, SLP and don't forget 19,700 that they announce. And they have to take one seat. And they say, for you to be able to carry a seat, you get forget 11% and above. They don't get one, they don't get up. That repeats in many other areas, like Potoko districts, like Mbou, like Western area, most of Western area. 
So I would say the elections is not fair, especially when it comes to tabulation of results. It is not fair at all. So yes, the international community, like um, international NGOs, like domestic observers, like AMIO, they rise. For say, the figures they wouldn't get, then get to the end, with the figures the way uh, uh, NET and uh, ECSL announced, they don't match at all. They don't match at all. So, so okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> moving fast forward, um, um, uh, on because, mm -hmm. um, as for now, what are the decisions we the party don't take? I will tell you, my brother, the decision of the party is where I have problem at this point in time. What do you mean by you get? What, of, yeah, what do you mean by you get problems with the decision the party don't take? I will need to get some my and I will need for for go for go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me the break up, please. Can you can you come again, please? Yeah, but honorable, honorable from since um 2018, the APC gets so many court cases they went up there and call it. So you know things are uh, na, 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 na a good decision where the party take not for gonna court. It was not a good decision at all. Why? Granted, granted that the courts they are against you. That's many cases we will not take my court court. The party the, the party lost them. And some of the cases they we're not supposed to lose them at all. So the courts not fear with me. But in this case again, the only avenue you have is the courts. Because you don't call for uh, a, a rerun of the elections. And the only body will do up in the courts. If you don't say you don't go to court because they rule you yesterday, because they don't rule in your favor yesterday, then we shall go it today, then we shall go next. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, the election in the country. All right. Let me let me come in, Mohammed. Let me come in, Honorable Mohammed. But there, um, the, the the party also take decision from my understanding. Uh, say, like you say, on enough participate in governance. Uh, those are one of the 
the decision way on a party take. And you say, like, there was a video going around where you say, you they participate, you they go to parliament, and uh, um, in fact, nobody made you, you were Mohamed Bangura, you were made before even the APC. And you decide, you say you they go, uh, um, you they participate, only you not be able to sign that uh, memorandum of understanding that you will not go participate in elections. Why you take that position then? Yeah, these two things were completely there. The video where they made the rounds is not a recent video. Oh, okay. That is over one year ago. It's a, it's a separate issue. An okay. issue with the Guna Parliament. We, we debate where they want to take a position at that time. So that video, they, they don't get anything to do with the election now. That's an old video. No. It is good that you, it, it good, sorry for interject you, it is good that you clear that out because the video they go round as if you single handedly come out of the party and say, I choose my path rather than the decision of the party. So it is very important that you clear that video. It's an old video, it's over one year, I think it's close to two years, mm. two years. That's an old video, an issue between the parliament, so it's the same party again, you take a position. When I look at the entire issue, I look at the constitution at that time, it, it's against my belief as a lawmaker to make a vote against the issue we in the parliament. So that is old. That is old. That video did not get anything to do with the present status. So what is your position now with the party? What in are you stand with regards to what in the party don't come out with say on enough for take part in governance? What in are you position? Coming to the, coming to that issue, the make I explain a little bit right. what's in the background. Okay. Coming to that issue, the, all right. Since we don't issue the press release a few weeks ago, when some of we gets issues with that press release thing, like the things that we are, not, are trying to learn, like not going to court and so on and so forth. So I called the Secretary General, I raised a registered me concern, and the Secretary General said they will call a meeting. So when I called a meeting on Wednesday last week, it was a hope that that is the appropriate place where are they going to raise me point. When are they going to accept? For say, if you say men lawmakers they not attend parliament, then the voting na the, the alternative after we not go attend parliament, what is next? So all that we need clarity. And also, also excuse me, you cannot make laws na party because you na in a national executive without involving members of parliament where they really make the law so so on that i say when we can a meeting and they ask them that question and they, so we can a meeting on wednesday the chairman michael Mazari, he came inside the hall nine talk it took one year one hour 20 minutes it just a monologue it's The issue when the party don't take is all debatable. The issue when the party don't take, nobody will no, even ask why. So when you don't talk so, he even will go further to threaten the lawmakers and say, anybody will go against the decision, they will take himself the Caribbean. That is, then go. When you use section 77K, Popular in the parliament. Now you talk for over one hour, 20 minutes. After we don't talk, then I say, all right, we're a miracle. Now they made left, alongside with some honorable members there. On my way coming home, now here I receive a phone call from honorable Chibu. He said, why make me know Google and stay and sign the letter of commitment? Let's say who's commitment letter. It's in the commitment where we say we support the party in position by not attending parliament. Let's say go. 
we were on the meeting. We were inside the meeting. The letter will not be a gap. The letter will not discuss that. We only go discuss one thing, that is the position of the party. Not at any single time that we are in for we see, we have to sign a commitment letter. I say I am on my way. Me no will come back to the office, they are not planning to sign any other letter. Immediately I don't talk with them. In space of five minutes, the, the letter don't go to social media. The people who call me from party office, they they pan bitter. They say me that's me don't sell game. Me that's ritual. Before we read from the party office, I pick up the party supporters there. They begin cost me all kinds of insulting words. They go burn me, they go burn the house, they go burn the office, they go burn me for sugar day, me not sell game, me not treasure, me not all kinds of they call me. Number one, not to say I'll be refused for signing the letter. Not to say I'll be refused for go at, uh, for stand with the party at that time. Not because I know they in the office where that letter they come for sign. But don't no one able to wait for me who I say I they come the house now where I live well at distance. For say when tomorrow you come and sign the letter, then publish it about. So I say I say now a deliberate attempt for ridicule me. A deliberate attempt for me to look bad in the eyes of the public. And that's why I happy for that letter. So, would, would you have signed that letter? I mean, if you be rich, um, um, now you desk, or if you be rich, or then you send to you, would you have signed that letter? And even as of now, regardless of what you know happened within the party, it's your party, you, you don't sign the letter, or you self don't make that commitment today. Not let me, tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, Rachel. Mm. If they send the letter to me that moment, I for sign up because I agree to the party position. I say this election they don't rule we, they don't take them away from we. As a result, we will put some resistance to the SLPP, but that don't happen at all. That don't happen at all. They put them to the public. They say, on a look who, other than one member will not be signed. So if, 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 if they give you the letter now, you will sign them or you don't sign the letter? No, I will not sign. 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 Yeah, but honorable, honorable, yes, I can say, why, why, why you not go sign a letter? First of all, um, I would, would you appreciate, you would, would you appreciate where you don't clarify? Where you don't, where you, Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give background. Yeah, we do appreciate you. Yeah, we do appreciate Yeah, we do appreciate you, but um before the election, before the election, um um Dr. Samura may make a press conference with some of the things that were happening during the election and after the election, it don't come to pass. You understand? So most of the things that we Dr. Samura say it happened during the election and after the election. Now, so many we party members then they, they tell you they, 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 they call me and we send on social media say Mohamed Bangura no sign this letter. They, they take you like a say you know a snitch to the party, you have to betray the party. My brother, yes, sir. I don't explain the reason why I'm not signing the letter. Everybody or anybody with the right senses. Who agree with me at that moment that if the Muhammad sent the letter, they follow sell up for me by electronic or they wait the following day, I go send the letter. Because it was not a die or do game at that, that night. It was not at all that night. So, so you're willing to sign the letter moving media mm -hmm. and people and begin call and talk say oh my brother 
public side. They begin calls already I get to them in life, already in the play, they're not beat up. But I think they want to knock off at all. For a letter that I was I did not refuse to sign. Oh, it's not it's bad. Yeah, honorable, uh, honorable. I just want, I just want to say, um, we know what you don't go through, according to which you explain the short time where this issue um come. I mean, those are uh, um, sacrifices. I mean, people like you make for your party, regardless, you know. And I can understand again from the other point the way how people are so aggrieved with the outcome of election. So. Um, maybe people were misinformed out there as well. Some of the APC and supporters, they were misinformed as well. So moving forward, um, considering the fact that you also acknowledge the, the outcome of the election is not transparent, um, moving forward, are you willing, you willing for sign this, this document so that you also go be part of the stance or of the position of, of your party? Are you willing uh, to I sign that letter? Uh, I have made my point very clear. If you know Mohammed Bangura, you will not be labeled with that question. I, I made it very clear that initially, I don't refuse to sign the letter. And if they be watching for sign the letter, therefore don't wait for me the following day, I'm going to office and go sign the letter. That I agree no matter with the position of the party. Yeah? But judging to the background, in which this, the, the issue don't take now, I will tell you, I am not going to sign that letter. So I'm not sure that means you go for participate in parliament. That means you now you go for participate in parliament. It's, it's a different thing. It's too different thing. Hmm. to participate and to sign a letter. It's too different thing. I know he signed a letter today. I'm not participating in parliament. It's too different. So, are you going to participate? You, as Mohamed Bangura, are you going to participate? Before in this interview, yeah. so many things so happened on the ground. So many things. My house talks of supporters, they go there, they go cause them. Poor mommy, we don't know nothing. They cause them. And me, they continue for bring abusive language on me. For me, right? For the no. Come on. Uh, uh, before Shaba continue, I just want to ask this with one question because. Um, we don't know Yeri, I'm um, out there from supporters of the APC party and also from general concerned Sierra Leoneans that um, from 2018, um, there is this thing out there, I wouldn't say um, that President Bio then, um, always they play the divide and rule playbook within the APC. We are in, all, all man get your opinion, even if we want to speak with one voice, but the influence of the AP and the SLPP of the present bill, then they they play the divide and rule, and a lot of the support, a lot of Una don't play into that divide and rule politics where the AP where the SLPP they play inside the APC. So what do you go say about that now when people were really concerned about the outcome of the election? Feel say Una all for them on one page, and we see the still divide and rule politics playing in the APC. What do you say about that? Uh, Richard, that divide and rule issue is true. What are they talking? As a lawmaker, we are in a parliament. We they speak in one voice. And we do things in one voice. Throughout five years in a parliament, we remain together. Be inconsistent with your stand. We don't ever will it together. Outside parliament to the executive, ordinary supporters, yes, it's possible that President Bill applied the divide and rule. But in parliament, we, the members of parliament, nothing like that we don't ever show. 
during a lifetime in a parliament. I say this because we speak in unity. And these elections we have been so. I believe, see, if President Kobabi will apply, um, President Biobi they apply the divide and rule again. You know, work for her. Because I see everybody in these elections comes on deck. We see the petito, Nakambia, Nade Day, the campaign. We see Dr. Richard Conte in McKinney and the Talese Center hiding the challenge issue. We see the Kemosi Saints in, 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 in Potroko, they all the day. How did the challenge issues? They are all. So every stakeholder be involved in these elections. I must see no stakeholder where they be and where left be. Everybody, everybody be involved. Everybody be involved. So the divide, I must swear much in the play and the party during the elections. Because you don't have to pinpoint by anybody. We will say this force is jealous or this force is not let be that is that is for this campaign. So as it is now, are you are you together and the stance of uh, with the stance of the party? Because um like like we continue for say based on what you received the year from the people and from concerned Serenians that that up till now the APC party you know, to speak with one voice. That is why even maybe the the, 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 the present administration able for do it even if they do so up to now. I will tell you, my dear sister, based on what they are happy right now, as mm -hmm. I talk to you, based on what they are happy right now, as I talk to you, that the APC, we are belong. Me, Mohamed Bangura, I get a lot of issues where I need to speak with them for clarity as we talk now. You don't mind for you don't mind for name one of the one couple of the issues, issues there. Issues, um, yeah. Please. Well, some of the issues and the I don't tell I don't be here raised the gist now. Yeah? I don't be here. Raised so, so if we are saying members of parliament and not of good parliaments, we would explain to me what it could be the next line of action. They don't explain at all the next line of action. Because we are not simple no courts. We don't get for good courts. What it could be the next line of action? Let the executive can explain to the membership what they don't put in place. Because and during the election, they say go votes. We really protect the votes. That is then the executive, then they protect your votes. And from the looks of things, the people are let down. It's like overwhelmingly go out and vote for APC. But the elections no reflect the votes. So which means Somebody know you protect the votes. So who to blame? Who are for blame? Or who are they for blame? I will tell you, I will tell you, we as a party, we have questions to answer to the ordinary supporters. We as a party. Because even in making decisions, would they make decisions then with the basis of we party support us. Say, for example, mm. during the time of the census, when I say for, 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 for census time become, right. the APC party will pay, make will not participate in the census. At that time, I single handedly tell them, say, no, more participants are in the census. Many come to it because the census. They say back, me not sell again. They say me a speech. They have to do a set of Census come, 
Sensos Pass, ¿qué programa quería realizar? Oliver, ¿qué programa quería realizar? We see the outcome of that. They take system when from Freetown, they carry them in the southeast. I swear to God, if they may not count we by that census, three times alone, but don't get like 15 extra seats because it's populated now, Freetown. It's overpopulated now. Like all the areas there, Mamali, Potroko, Kambia, all the areas they did, not overpopulated now. They all for them get surge in their numbers. So if we are going to make one big mistake, like the censors, we are saying more no participants. As a result of that, we see what is the what is the implication today. Then we will come back and come with another press release of not going to courts, of boycotting governance. Definitely, everybody for able to sit down and ask the executive, what is the way out? All right, make that just can you mention some critical issues here so we I just want to <laughs> ask you on and then Shaba, yeah, you will take them from there. So um you say the party they make decision or for make decision based on waiting, you know, the grassroots and all that concerns Aralinians them want. Um do you and you also specifically mentioned the, the midterm census. And also this uh, um, um, position where the party also don't take not to participate in the uh, um, the, the process. So these are, uh, um, according to what the party feel, these are measures them or these are ways to resist, you know, the the, the current administration. These are measures that they take for resist uh, um, the current administration because we have some time time the day where even the general public say, "Well, APC too cold. This decision and for don't come. Then see don't know this government they use them." So I think the party was making some decisions based on the general public or the people that went at the APC and them where they come up from them, them concern. So you get on the contrary. So this is why I say and I say again, say the AP, the, the, the divide and rule thing is still playing out because APC not ever speak with one voice. If they say this, you go see one or two critical thinkers them go come up from another angle and say that. So that's how it's been playing all this while. Forget about the divide and rule. The APC as an executive, then they show them, hmm. most of them, where they don't be, they don't be good at all. They don't be good at all. It's a strong one. I don't tell you. So if you take one wrong decision about politics, one wrong decision, you don't cause a setback, then you can't take another decision. Then you know expects he expects people enough to ask you questions. He expects people not to ask you that this decision will take so. What's that the rationale? What what will be the way out? If you say no no go court, you say no no don't go parliament. Then I will have to ask them, what's next? So honorable, honorable, as we as we we wrap up now, what's going to be the consequence if we are not going to parliament? Because now we know say we are not going to court, and we we'll make to understand say parliament will be next. I think next Wednesday or next Thursday. What are the consequences if we are not going to parliament? Well, I'm yet to read, read, uh, read that law day mm -hmm. because as it is, we are not members of parliament. Because not, we don't subscribe to the vote of office. If you subscribe to the vote of office, I can tell you, see, party settings of parliament, you, a member of parliament, if you absent party settings, you lose your seat. You lose your seat. But in this case, we are not members of parliament yet. 
We're not going to parliament it. So I'm not going to speak on that, which will be the consequence, because we are not members of parliament yet. So, so my own question as to the wrap up, really, if una, are you going to participate as Honorable Mohamed Bangura move, moving forward away Parliament open or when you're sworn in or something? Are you going to participate uh, uh, um, in Parliament? I will tell you until I have answers to my concern that it will not take part in Parliament voting will be the way out until someone somebody proceeding with we and address them concerns there so i'm afraid so so what do you go equally say about the international community then stand way up till now then self not give congratulate president bio then self just they, they i mean they might have the, their other stuff other, I'm, other just, I'm just i'm just on yeah. yeah. congratulate yeah. Yes, yeah, so they might have their own plan B. So their first position is not to congratulate President Bio. But then it's then self not even come up with to we the Sierra Leoneans them where they self they stand for say, okay, after this, this is our next 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 action. We self no know. Likewise, you self say you don't know what's in the, the, the next alternative from the APC. Probably they might get probably the international community community self also definitely will get a plan b but they are also sticking to their position you know things say APC is also waiting for the next plan based on history based on what we know in africa many elections are conducted in africa fraudulently the international community at that initial stage will not recognize the government but I tell you, mm. as we go along, they will eventually do business to the government on the day. So the international community the day, we are not able to put with faith and them. Because the only thing power is really get in hands now for sanction you, SLPP. Sanction you. Like they did in Guinea, they did in Mali. In Burkina Faso and all the rest of African countries. There is action. But you and I will not say, I can tell you, you know, see, the African leaders, they are so. They get some way when they will play around the sanctions. When they sanction you, the government, the functions, and the, the, the function, and the people they will suffer. The people will pay a price for the sanctions, they are so. Always. The international community don't get the power for say now we the can new mother be commodity forcefully with the conduct under election. You know, they don't have the power. You and I know that. They don't. Even if they have the power, they, are, they will be reluctant to, to act. So they they, they impose sanction. And they impose a sanction. And the people don't want to suffer. All right, um, 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 moment. I mean, it, it's getting, it's getting very, it's getting yes. very <laughs> interesting. Um, uh, I got yes. to here. Um, um, I understand you, 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 you premise where you don't base on um, not uh, um, or wanting to get answer from your political party. From all indication, international community, of course, like you rightly say, cannot forcefully remove. Um, um, Madam Bio from um, from his seat, but you don't mention sanction and probably other stiff stiff uh, uh, um, positions that would the international community would take on behalf of the people of Sierra Leone, on behalf of the interests of democracy. No, you don't think say the the, the, the international community they on the side of the people them, and these are some of the things that way that uh, um, go take for proof to the people and say they are with the people and also they uh, they're not supporting the government of the day and that is what you I, 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 the people of Ceylon think saying that that you party also want for do of course of course the international community on the side of the Ceylonians because by not recognizing the government it means it implies as 
the government was not legitimate. So then, but then he signed up the people. All the things they all see by these elections, these elections, all the things they all see there, now things they all don't see long ago. Long ago. That SMPP did conduct elections. And that's the Guru Gui. A long ago. We will tell them for release the voters' registrations. They don't do it. They don't own them. They own them. The card, the ID card, will go print in black. You know, we don't go and inspire somebody to only go vote. So, all the signs of a written election as it is today, it will only what did the opposition they do? In many cases in Africa, I will tell you, mm. will come out and say, ABC no rights, ABC no rights, we are not going to participate with the boycotts. The election for boycott the election? Yes. Boycott elections. Give me the door. Because all the signs were very clear, we are vivid. So say the SLPP they wrote these elections. And that's yes, if you yes, you don't go print card, the voter's card. As poor as this card is, it's a recipe for who's with the so today. Yes, yes. So what you for don't do, what you for don't do, if you don't look all the issues there so and not say this election there so now you read the election. As a result, we are not participating at all in the elections. Yes, we get the power for doing that. The people have the only power. They call the government for doing that. Once they may not resign, a easier system for resign. They determine the people of this country be determined for CC. He says they resign. The day on Monday we get to last rally. Now this country, when I see how this country, this city, all be turned red. At that rally, we be expect to win leadership in the APC for come out the pronouncement because 99% of the supporters were go that day. They were determined to see Menek resign. Because at that rally, people come out today with despondency, disbelief. Once we begin go out and tell people and say, election on the rights, election on the rights, election on the rights. So, so, uh, <laughs> but, but, but we also see the concern we, where a, 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 APC be, 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 be make. 90% of the concern, meaning the disaggregated data and so many things that were APC being called for, it was given with the intervention of international community um, last minute. And that was when I think your leadership decided that Una will go into elections. But moving forward, um, it has happened, and it, ha it, it is it's good that it happened the way it happened, so so that people then go no say their mandate has been stolen. And like I said, moving forward, you mentioned something like say if parliament parliament parliamentarians not go for in the party sittings, he go losing seats. Are you concerned more about your sittings, or you you be removed of, of from parliament, or you are much more concerned? about the mandate where this present administration steal from the people and where I believe say the APC party want to take that stance for support for people and fight for their vote. Well, I tell you, I say all this fight will be fight so not fight so for not fight so long ago. Long ago. From the time when they remove 10 parliamentarians. From the time when they remove 10 parliamentarians. to APC SLPP. But at the end of that situation, now only one person and 28 
people with the ordinary supporters, then they arrest. That is me, Honorable Mohamed Bangura, and Karbo Kaba, and 28 ordinary supporters, and they are arrested. The full members of parliament said it, and they left the both. Both. From that day, SRPB don't test we. Don't know, see. They want their show with the Kerem Musa Wane. From that day, when you don't take it, start that release the voters there to the list, the ID cards, and so on and so forth. When you don't get for release, that they forgot for boycott of the elections. You know, for wait for say boycott of governance. That they forgot boycott of the elections. You know, Kola. So the whole thing is messy. That I will tell you for two. Hmm. The whole thing is messy. We are not going to parliament. It's messy. SLPP sitting there as SLPP alone, one party state, it's messy. All of this messiness, we don't well off or lose. And so, the country is a new. So what's it gonna be lost. so what's it gonna be your best advice to your political party when they don't make a decision so? Dialogue. I tell you this, my brother. Dialogue. Dialogue with who? Dialogue with who? Dialogue dialogue with who? The government with international committee they don't recognize it. Well, is it no, no matter, let's not put it that way. No matter how you put her, hmm. it the president of the country will not announce itself as a winner. International community accepts or not, eventually they will work with the government as they did in many other African countries. That reality today, that is the naked truth. If anybody not accept her to go and listen, we just say fool itself. That is naked truth. And the other naked truth is, when they don't make His Excellency the President, we don't declare himself as the winner, no matter what is happening, we know we're not going to be where they can talk outside for can conduct other elections. Nobody. Nobody. No can conduct other elections. So 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 you so you accept the outcome of the election where President B announced himself say that in win? The outcome of the elections. In life, one has to accept the circumstances in which you find yourself. So 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 why did the complainer why did the complainer say APC for we don't make we, 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 we don't take stands? But well, the situation that we find to ourselves is messy. And the only purpose we would benefit say and we could lock it is the Namasaralio. So if we have to do a compromise with the political class to a compromise for the interest of the ordinary person. So who's can compromise with things say on a party? Who's can compromise with things say on a party for make? No, I know can prejudge any compromise. I say compromise. A compromise where we left the country the benefits. Not a weak politician. A compromise will benefit the country. Save the America. I'll go and push. You know that. Now by doing something vote time, now they say I'll go win. Not so. Right. Um, I'll push win. Not so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That election was won by I'll go. I'll go now in the election. They sit down as a party, they say this election is for the legs. We won the elections. But in the interest of the country, in the interest of peace, now you make a go be left. Now you make a go be left. When 
Donald Trump, in the interest of the country and peace, be no plea for love, we all see the turbulency in which at the early stage in America see. First time in history, Americans, the dust has literally announced the results of Joe Biden. The dust has roots. First time, first time. No, so first right. time. We see riots as the they go under the, 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 the House of Representatives, the capital city. They go riots there. And we see the divide where I'm in right now. Uh, uh, Mohamed, I'm, I'm a bit confused with your position here. Honestly, I'm a bit confused with your position here, I must say. Um, because the APC, what's in the APC, even the Sierra Leone people have not go through for the past five years. And the people of Sierra Leone, because of them vote where they vote, that shows that they're not even one for do anything with this current government based on the turnout and the, the kind of the election uh, 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 come out. So if you they say you party for go to the same government back where in so many instances I have not been dialoguing with your party, I've excluded you in terms of a lot of things from governance and even the way how the, 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 the economic situation there right now. And you are saying your same political party should dialogue and find a compromise with this uh, uh, um current government i'm a little bit confused because in the first place you say you know we don't take them from this government and it's talk up in the basis of patriotism that in the situation messy as it is you will not have a winner you will not have a winner the only loser and the country may be lose the only person country may be lose Okay, well, um, I do appreciate you, Honorable um, Mohamed Bangua, for way on the invitation. I will believe say we will bring you come back on camera. Just unfortunately, we will not forget you on camera. And what will be your final message to Salunians and also to your political party? Well, your final message, I don't talk so. The political party, I say more could step fast. I say make we call for a compromise, make we sit down and look, make we reorganize our party, restructure our party, learn from the mistakes that we did this past elections, and move further. As reunions, mm -hmm. I say make we unite, make we unite, make we solve the bitter pill, Okay, quick on before you go, yeah, quick and just hear you when you talk, say, make we unite. But so many things that will happen in our country, we will not see President Bio come and condemn them. You see, recently, we then go kill person now in a party office, and also we we'll include a person back uh, two minutes away from the party office. We see where we, we they attack um, 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 Dr. Samura and, and Kainau. Them block them, they even have to kill them in the fire, live bullets, and uh, 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 um, other, other people that are the political party. But President Bio not come and condemn all the things anymore. Now you talk say for make when I work with the president for United Country. I tell you this. I not tell you say for work with the president. I say work with dialogue. And in dialogue, what good things they have been doing. Currently, I, like, as I'm speaking to you, mm -hmm. we get over 50 of the supporters there. We do wait for trial with some of them from the local and Apanema Road. They not trying them, they are there, including an American citizen with a sherry beast in the Apanema Road. In, in, a, in, in dialogue, all of these things will be addressed. All of these things will be addressed. Okay. As I was speaking to you, with people in the southeast, they don't move for more than southeast. They don't burn the houses. They don't beat them. They harass them. The, the only thing we're going to call and go back to the old places, na peace and quietness. 
anything other than that, you will be displaced for the next five years. And I'm saying this, do you want to see your own people live in short situation? No. Nope. Certainly no. Certainly no. <laughs> so, do I want to see the people who are in the road and in charge of the courts and start trial and conviction tomorrow? Certainly no. And the interest of all the things they do are not also. I'll tell you, if you need my leader, I will say for my people, we are not also now. I did ask for more to and talk. For President Bio, all the things that are going to happen when no great comments. That is him, and that is bad leadership. That is bad leadership. Because at least, if you don't come out and speak on the issues a day, but no, you know what? He left people in, then he killed people in. Even the police officers, we're going to kill that woman at na, na, na party office up to this point. In body, it will be a You know, it will come and say, the police will kill them, pick that man, and they will be responsible. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Honorable Mohamed Bangura. Definitely, we'll bring you come back next weekend on camera. Thank you very much. We do appreciate you. Okay, um, Famulem, we get all the political analysis we're going to bring um, on board Suleiman and Mr. Jalo Jambo, the two and several years from the man himself. Which I would take. You know, um, it's a very interesting interview, I must say. And um, Mohamed Honorable Manu Bangura it's, it's, has been very controversial in his own right. But again, he makes some conflicting statements we end up for for confused people even more, basically. Right. And um, he says one thing from this side, and he says another thing again from the other side. So he ended up not having a particular position. Usai, they were going to say, na yaso ide, because it gets conflicting statements then. Um, I mean, I mean, if Una self in the comment section, Una self let we know what Una think about the interview with Mohamed Bangura. But I, I, I believe from the interview, there are so many conflicting statements. Welcome, well, welcome, so, welcome, welcome, Suleiman. From one yes, side and the other thing from me. another side. We just don't welcome, um, um, Suleiman, so far. So let we think, let we know from the comment section what you Una think about um, this interview with Mohamed Bangura and uh, Una self Siam. Let me get them from the comment section, please. Welcome again, Suleiman Fofana. Welcome. How are you? Thanks for having Very me. Very well, me. thank you. Very well, thank you. So, we, I mean, we just done the interview. Uh, I, I hope you watch that interview uh, or you listen to the interview. Uh, before we even go further, what is your opinion about the interview with Mohamed Bangura? I listen um, uh, almost the half of it. Because our journey was a bit late, but I mean, to what I got, Mohamed Bangura is much more confused than the, the situation where he very confused itself. That's how you go. You see, Why he's, a, he's not a very intelligent man because the position you not take a position. You are right, as you rightly said, and a man. It, it, it sound like a man we very desperate, like the others. We want for you know attain position now. It's all about money. It's about it's not about the country. I mean, this thing that is happening today is not about the APC even, but it's about precedents where African countries they once said we're not good for the future of Africa, for the future of Sierra Leone, 
And thank God, if the audio going around from the Nigerian, current Nigerian head of state in recent position we take, that there is going to be a commission for look into the Nigerian election, he don't sort of like wake up to himself because the very first week and month we come into office, he see uh, the other kind of cost of living skyrocket, uh, um, investor confidence plummet, um, refusal from the international community for engage with them and take Nigeria seriously. He's an old man, full of wisdom, despite in past, but you don't get a really good life. He's a very intelligent man. You put Ian and Peter Obi together to go to the flag, Peter Obi, in any kind of fear, the flag hands down. The only two way militates against her in age. But this is a man we don't can take full responsibility now to, to, you know, I will review this election and I will ensure that we will put a commission and they apologize to the Nigerian people for a very bad precedent set. This is a nation of 200 million people. If we set bad precedents in Africa, it's going to be into a future generation. We're so bad for the continent. So if a man like this now, you don't begin to sort of like um, get some huge international acclaim, and people don't begin to respect that. And if he does things like this, it's going to shame a lot of people in Bakla Sierra Leone because they look at what Nigeria is doing. I hope Nigeria can set that good example there. We will all will follow in the future. This election is very simple. Mohamed Bangura, I don't actually know how confused he is. If I understand, say, first and foremost, all the atrocities and this that's what happened these five years, they could not actually take a stand because the president himself controlled everything. And people in life, they're really at stake, if I understand, Andy. Number two, if I see the fight way, they start fighting from 2020 uh, for this Mohamed, um, um, Mohamed Kone that he wasn't the right person. Nothing happened there. If I see how them bulldoze 10 parliamentarian, then I mean, at the end of the day, what's in my position you want to take about the APC? The APC, if they go to court, it is like endorsing this process. First and foremost, if you look at the country report from 2019 to today, the courts and parliament, now one institution is already named inside Sierra Leone country report as the worst critical institution in order to work for the people there. So how can you trust a court like this? They say they will take a decision away. The 2018 uh, uh, case, the law even uh, uh, address them four years later. So if the APC take that bit thing, these are the seeds very clearly. If they take that bit they for going to court, it is like endorsing that the election was run proper. This election from the very first start shows clear evidence that the worst election since the history of this nation. An election where they begin to intimidate uh, pulling agents in from the opposition stronghold, seen enough for day around Kailan, around, around the, I mean, the, 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 the party SLPP stronghold. You will see evidence of intimidation, harassment of people from that area. Day. Um, an election where the first lady talk about party office, they don't exist. They go to burn an office table, ballot stuff where they cage all over the country. Then they get them broad daylight, ballot stuff and everything. And then the call results where the international community is not present, uh, returning officials from the really parties are not present. How do All you right, Mr. Jalo, don't come up. Before Sheba talked to Mr. Jalo, um, what do you, Mohamed Bangura also make a critical um, suggestion or, or a point here, say, um, if, if he left to in as Mohamed Bangura, the APC party for dialogue with President Bill, for compromise, with, uh, um, I don't know if to say, for call him President Bill, for compromise with him, and for dialogue with, with, with Mother Bill. What do you think about that? That is the worst kind of um, advice. And if I mean the call him President Bill, I mean the call him former President Bill, because this is the concluded the election. I mean, would I for do the uh, uh, other? Now, President Bill, ninth, ninth for taking this responsibility. Not only a party for go. This is you know, something. What's wrong with this country? That's what I said. I'm a, I'm it's about blaming, yeah. it's blaming the victim <laughs> for things where happen to the victim. For example, then they kill people in the country. They still believe the people. They say the people. Who are the lawless here? Who is sending all the security forces there? Who are not the leadership? Who are for take the responsibility for seven point eight million people? Who should actually galvanize? Who are for take the lead? Who are for the talk when they kill people? There? If you have a responsibility, it's just like I remember the case of Abed Jakaba in 1998. I don't know, boy, Jambore, if you remember that incident, the way they catch one Chris man inside the crowd 
of SLPP uh, 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 supporters them in 1998 around November. The club that guided they put an a chair and they and right now cutting tree. It takes two days and then to jack about talk. Many people have been they say, Skabato, look at what's happened in the international community. Look at what they say. Then they say, Kai can't talk. How can we do this kind of things to this nation? Manabio, who takes the lead? If they kill people, if you party members, they say, for sure, responsibility, for sure, leadership. You the kind you make statements, you condemn the thing. This is what is a civilized person in the 21st century. But unfortunately, Manabio, like Bushman, now, damn native boy, where no go to, no process of. Of understanding how the world really work, you know, I mean, you know, you show any evidence of living a civilized society or working civilized administration for understanding the implications of these things. I mean, they are killing people, they are prosecuting people, they kill somebody in the APC office, they cannot even make a simple statement, they have no shame. But Bola Tinubu, if God make things go right, will set a really good example, we go shame because he talk as he is this like the electoral commissioner. If you guys are involved in this election rigging, the consequences, I, I, I mean, it will, it will not all go feel the consequences. You're not thinking wrong that it will African society. You will get people that can go cost for people. Then. Well, they're not even sabi inside the bond themselves. They're not even sabi inside them on a daily start. You know, people taking Slam the, 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 the cost, they intimidate for, for, for politicians. They will not even know them. These are some of the things that we. I hope Bola Tinubu will put the record straight so we all will learn from this. Sulaiman, so honestly, I honestly, I, I still is shick. I'm still telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. How can they blame you? Because Rachel, how can they blame you for doing a good work? How can they blame you? Honorable no, 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 Bambuga, Honorable, no, no, no. somehow I, I, I agree and disagree with him. I disagree with him when he say in political party, for dialogue with this government. I make an answer. Why you political party for dialogue with this government? We <laughs> listen to you. Compromise. Yes, compromise. Yes, when compromise. you wonder where the free money, oh, no yes. way I'm not going to compromise. Listen to me. When they go kill somebody in a party office, they kill one boy they call yellow man two minutes away from the party office because of a very right. yeah. We see all, right. all we see all in the indicators and all the things that we didn't do before, before the election during the no, election. No, no, then come say, hey, we're not sure. We expect to be able to come and society. condemn all the things that you know, right. we expect to be able to come and condemn that is all the things that we have to do. And take responsibility. Take responsibility. responsibility. Take responsibility. You know, you make other people that will not feel comfortable with you. You feel comfortable. How can we feel comfortable with that? Look, how can we dialogue with a man like this? A matron. Mr. Gallo, what are you what are your light on this? Um, oh. if you at all listen to uh, um, the interview, what are you take on it? Can you unmute, please? Can unmute, please? please. You still mute, please. I sound the Go on, go on, go on. And I listened to the interview, and since the election, I've taken a quiet stance. I uh, have to be honest, mm -hmm. I've given up on Sierra Leone. But, but let me just bring... Uh, I just uh, hold on, Rachel. Rachel, no, please allow me. The interview. Like, give me some I time. have been in this thing since 1967. And I'm sure most of you here were kids at that time. 1967, I was not born at that time, even okay. in Okay. I started seeing political turbulence in Freetown at the 1967 elections. I saw somebody fired and killed in front of me at Frabi Road when Albert Magai instructed Brigadier David Lansana to take over. Okay? And since 1970s, I've been in the political arena. I would be honest, I'm now giving up on Sierra Leone. You see, the, the, the Sierra Leonean and especially the black race has to learn certain lessons about existence. You don't run your life on emotions. Mother Bio is playing on the emotions because he knows we are emotional, we are egoistic, and we are cheap. 
People like Mohamed Bangu are very cheap. He's so cheap that he can talk. Hold on, hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Make a coming. Just hold on, guys. Hold on, please. please. Sorry. Yes, go on. Go on, go on, sir. Go on. And there are many of his types in Sierra Leone. Some of them parading as educated. I will tell you guys something, and I'm saying it for every Sierra Leonean to listen. Nations are not built by muscles. They are built by cooperation of diverse minds. And that cooperation would only work when there are ethical standards. That is, the intellectual class, the educated class, has to accept that we set this standard, we do this, we don't do this. We cannot be operating like pendulum in a society. The, the issue in Sierra Leone as it is now is beyond partisan politics. This is one of the things we have to begin to understand. It's above and beyond partisan politics. It's a class war. A few people thinking they own the right to be trying to suppress the majority. And they recruit people all the time. I'll tell you one thing for free. It will be difficult for Samuel Matthew Wilson Kamara to be president of the Republic of Sierra Leone. You know why? 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 Because he has been seen not to be part of that class of hypocrites, deceptive minds, etc. Because it's straightforward. Mr. Jalo, I cannot break out to Creo. I did talk because I wanted the international community here. Now they get okay for save weapon and this rubbish show. They and, and they watch and they watch we show all the time. That's <laughs> Sierra Leone is in a quagmire. We need life support. I'll tell you guys something. The bigger picture on another Siam, it's not politics. It's a class of people trying to gel together to hold on to power so that they will continue to misuse the resources of that country. In 2012, it was announced all over the world, even on BBC, on VOA, that oil was discovered offshore in Sierra Leone. During the Madabio regime, we heard of a Nigerian company coming to take over two blocks of oil exploration in Sierra Leone. Guess what? Those blocks were blocks belonging to a Norwegian company, African Petroleum, that has now left Sierra Leone. They left in 2018 November for reasons which I know. And they are now operating in Senegal and the Gambia as Petronor. There is a cabal growing in Sierra Leone that wants to control the resources and they give a hoot about the ordinary man. This is the danger we have in Sierra Leone. So some of us, for our own safety and the safety of certain people, we are keeping back. Okay? But it's more bigger than you people see. It's not about Mada Bio or Anesco Roma. It's about a class of people wanting to institute a fiefdom and misuse the resources of the country. So, so at this point, you, you think, say, the APC for dialogue or compromise with the people? Uh, what is the people? problem of the APC for them to dialogue? No, I, I the can't because now one, of, now one of my, um, um, one, um, Mohamed, Honorable Mohamed, uh, Bangura, in your suggestion that the, that the APC you passed see, this whole process started in the in the 90s they drove out people for idiots to take over politics and then come public and talk nonsense there are many Mohammed Banguras talking slush in Sierra Leone now for some of us who had been in this thing before mm. we know and I'm a trade unionist talking now I know when there is a grievance, it's not the aggrieved party that must compromise. 
is the party that is responsible for the grievance that must come down and begin to negotiate and make amends. If anybody has to make amends, it should come from Julius Madabio and his gang of thieves, not the APC. This time we begin to say it as it should. And Julius Madabio and his gang of thieves are doing what they are doing because the intellectual class of Sierra Leone are full of deception, hypocrisy, and non decisiveness. We lack the ethical and moral currency to run Sierra Leone. We will see the council of Mohamed Bangura. Uh, I'll make a respect video pick, then we will leave it on a place. Let me hasten to inform you that there is, if there is popular involvement of civil society in governance programs and activities, there is little or no room for suspicion. And with the call on your governance, sir, this time, civil society, not to for just inform, invite we for law we camp a meeting and say civil society then they are. Not to for also put we on board. But we want uh, portfolio positions where civil society then to also feel that. With a call on portfolio positions. His Excellency, sir, it will surprise you to know that in the civil society arena of Sierra Leone, we have academic doctors, we have engineers, we have the legal barristers, we have people who are accountants, agriculturists, to name but few. His Excellency, if you make use of those ones, a civil society appointed to a portfolio in governance, then you can see the reality of operations. Before now, we are time to be evil society, but we want to assure you, with your coming, you change that narrative, and we want to say, before, it is a parochial thinking, and that myopicness, you come and wipe them, you bring you on board. We thank you, sir. Please, sir, His Excellency, and the Vice President, Honorable Vice President, Chief Minister, we now note this, it is very much disheartening, they in a particular community. So civil society, sometimes even the workshops have bad, they don't tell, they don't call we pass workshop there again. So this, this is not a problem, and we are qualified to the tax. Myself standing here, I'm a graduate with BSc in human resource management. I, I get HCC, secondary school, I get BSc. But His Excellency, for the past yes, years, I honestly I speaking, the honorable by, Vice President, which he done, I don't need to be yeah, and I don't finished. present a bunch of paper on the civil society <laughs> movement of the North. Right. <laughs> the alien is <laughs> finished. Like a marketing meeting, a marketing meeting. Civil what's society. Guys, nice. nice. what's up? Even the, 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 the even the word civil society means you don't have to ask for that office he's asking for. You have to be independent because you represent those outside governance. You represent those outside the capacity to provide the resources. You know what your people learn need to understand? The civil society is just like the trade union. You represent the worker, the aggrieved masses. Then you get the employer's federation where they represent you and they will get the capital. Then the government forbid the arbitrator. But say, Alion, then don't juxtaposition everything. And these are the guys claiming to be educated. Is that an educated man talking? No, Mr. Jamoria, I, I noticed something by this video I just watched. Whenever we talk to a leader, you know, they take note of what you they talk, you not take you serious. It's because the guy, they use them for achieving a motive. And not take them serious. Then you go put something in an envelope, give them, say go holla. And they shouting as if Jesus Christ is two, two billion light years away for him to hear him. So then it's finished. Sulaiman, what do you, what do you take on this, this, um, uh, uh, not be congratulated, go congratulate, uh, 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 uh,
where it's on it's yeah, on yeah. market it's on marketing meeting uh, the marketing and, and marketing. the guy and the guy and the guy make a clear say them they call them evil society this i, I would so, not be okay it changed the narrative this is yes. just too painful for watch you know, when you see when you watch a country, you, you, you know, it's Iranian. It, for me, it's so embarrassing that I can share the same country with fools like this. We, you know, he come for do job hunting rather than, I mean, just like Mr. Jambori rightly said, civil society is a, is, is, is a whole institution for actually watch, my public watch, you yeah. know, <laughs> or bringing people together. Yeah. We, now, a public watch. Like what happened so these elections when they go and catch them ballot boxes? This is a or this is a real civil This society. is what they not, should be talking not, about. Not, not, not the bunch of these fools we they just you know through the SLPP. I mean what they did this for this and five years that you know it, it, the box stopped with you and it, they come back and buy it now. These five years they put a lot of resources in creating these fake civil societies all across. You know, how they call ourselves getting into massive propaganda, spending so much money for let them invite them in them international forums and this and that that serve no purpose. They need to understand what happened even in how they call ourselves now Malawi with Mrs. Banda. You know, we become the first African female president at that particular time. They they call her the absentee president. She became fooled into all this international. Um, um, forums and everything, you know, they invite her here, they spend the country money again, fly while she was flying, they still, they still stole over 70% of the country resources while she was flying, and you only go faster. You know, here, you just see a society full of people who not get, they're not honest again, they don't get integrity. You know, the poverty is so endemic in that country that, and poverty is a disease. What it make poverty become a disease, it make you see, at the moment, the man who has said, I talked to her, I don't begin to catch up. There's no other means of them getting income. These are people who can bite anything. They can look at shit. They can still sell a chocolate. And and, and, and Sierra Leone is a place where people don't get all these basics. So, Salaman, so, like, so, 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 sorry, sorry for interject, please. We'll get somebody on the line. We want to respond to Mohamed mm. Bangoa and as possible, we we did at the um, APC party, please. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, hello? Yeah, hello, Ekati. Yes, yes, good evening. I would have to talk to, please. Um, actually, you need to talk to the people's power. Yes, people's power. Uh, 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 you watch Mohamed Bangua interview just now, right? Of course. Yeah. I listened to the interview from the beginning to the end. So what do you take, please? Um, I think, see, I want to tell you now, plenty, plenty, thank you, we did at the panel, and uh, Mr. Jambuya, of course, I don't follow him, I want to tell him plenty, plenty, thank you for your resilience and the love we get for this country. Um, I think, see, Mohamed Bangua is really sad for the All People's Congress Party for get Mohamed Bangua as somebody who they represent hundreds and thousands of people in the House of Parliament, the House of Representatives. And uh, Mohamed Bangua don't need that the All People's Congress Party for a while for make you know understand the role and responsibility of a political party for making the you know understand within the leadership of the party they do and within they know for do. I just want for tell listeners them with the out here that see whatever decision the leadership of the all people's party they take that this leadership we all become votes for the McKinney then for make we put them there make them take a decision I want for tell Mame Bangu I see this leadership we do see currently now our leadership we then take this decision then take up from world level then consult with the world executive get a meeting, get in touch with them, come to the constituency executive, all the constituency around the country, they meet with them, consult with them, come to the district executive, talk with the district executive, then come to the regional executive, talk to the regional executive right across the country, then come to the NAC level, then see them, then deliberate on that, then see the things that were happen before during and after the elections, 
they see all of them things they did. Mohamed Bangua retain a parliament, of course, they see the things that we have in a parliament. Mohamed Bangua did they, they see the bills that we have in a parliament. The things that we the hospital people government go with in a parliament where the parliamentary, the APC parliamentary has been calm and start some of the things that they will APC against the majority in a parliament. Of course, in the moment of course, we talk and say they have pulled nine members of parliament for okay. all people's uh, parties. People's power, fast, fast forward because we don't get time. Uh, Mohamed Bangura make a clear say the day where they call the meeting where the chairman talk over one hour, 20 minutes, they're not in work out. After when in work out now, on the way where they're going, I was unable to go call and tell and say if I can sign a letter. Of course, um, I think say, if the party we don't pull the press release before Mohamed Bangua they go na that meeting. And when Mohamed Bangua go na that meeting, the party go explain to the 54 members of parliament the way the ECSA poll results in and they qualify for go na parliament. Not only the 54 members of parliament they be, we get other people um, we go through the nomination they as well. Including people the way we don't win the other position and chairperson position, the leadership of the party make a clear to them and just go and reaffirm. Say this now the position of the party. Now the party position is I guess say everybody out here that don't see that public notice they that press list they will come up from the party. So this now the party is stands and this now the party a position is. So for next come and can't talk they can be really a misleading. We don't expect somebody like Kwame Bangua. We don't hold high offices there. That is country. They don't be minister of information. They don't need another parliament say for make it come and come this inform people and waiting the leadership of the party not know. It is really sad for our democracy. Mohamed Bangua the call for dialogue just like waiting uh but Jamboya the top yada. The Madabio administration and the All People's Congress Party order for call for dialogue. The APC party don't they call for dialogue all this way. We don't see them. In fact, the, the, the African Union don't carry out several times for dialogue with the opposition and that of the government. ECOWAS don't carry out for dialogue. All of the democratic and institutions there, they don't they come to this country for dialogue with the APC and the SNPP. But we see the SNPP, the contrary to which they say, look the laws the way they bring up 11th hour to the election and where we constitution make them clear when and how the ECSL will bring electoral laws them to the parliament. So all of the things that they want me to go and know, they know all of the things they are. So this time when the party don't take so, then they go coach. Of course, we don't achieve that one day. And we, the ten more me to say, we know they go to the parliament today because the APC not get anything for go to the parliament. You can imagine a Gatti Shaba, the person, uh, 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 Madame Yogi, in a, a, a political party, don't get two-third majority in the parliament. If you don't go get two-third majority in the parliament, what in opposition they go to the parliament? What in they go to the 54 members of parliament? 81 members of parliament, they don't form the quorum. They don't form two thirds majority in the parliament. And the first time in the history of the we salon democracy since 1996, we don't get any political party. We don't get two thirds majority in the parliament. Now, the very first time this in the history of the political arena for me to get a single political party, get two thirds majority in the parliament. Because okay. this two thirds majority in the parliament, now it will only be the argument that the past parliament said of oh, we get two thirds majority. We are not going to pass this law. We are not going to amend this law. This law will be forbid. So now they make the mastermind. They do all the setting up for make them forget to the majority in the parliament. Thank you. They going for pass smoothly for do all kind of bad bad things. Uh, Thank you very city. much. Thank you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Thank you very much. Nobody did the Thank you very much. Thank you very much. People's power will be come back um, next weekend. Thank you. You are welcome. Yeah. Well, well, um, um, guys, I'm um, sorry. I'm um, there for what? bringing um, honorable. Honorable Timbo making himself can say we with me up in at the meeting where um honorable Mohamed Bangua left. Then after that time, honorable Timbo call and see if we can sign letter. Let's, yes, Sulaiman. I'll be just gonna tell you say even um, um, Mayor Akisoya, you listen in recent broadcast where right. he acknowledged in win mm -hmm. and but he, 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 he make a plain to all the Fritonians and you know the constituent that look. Right now, I will follow the party position. That is what an intelligent person do. You know, I will follow the party position because the party that this position will not take will not go actually hold the parliament, will not go actually hollow all the mayors in and they may say, Mr. will take that position. Simple. Very, very simple. 
Yes, than, okay. than this complaint. Yes. I just come in with you. I don't want to make an addition to what Suleiman say. Okay. You see, a lady like Ivona Kisoya will take that position and toe the line of the party. You know why? Yeah. For her, politics is not an occupation. That is correct. It politics not to us. Yes. It gets an occupation where it can go with after politics. Some of we not interested for going to politics because right. you not get nothing for off are we. Right. The money you have for use for go campaign, I can use them for the other thing where I go make more profit. Absolutely. You see, but you get what well, they talk about poverty. Let we classify the poverty we'll get. I just mentioned about that earlier. Not a material poverty. Materially, Sierra Leone can be the richest country in Africa, if not the world. Sajamuga, sorry for interrupting. Get mental sir. poverty. Mm. Sajamuga, sorry for interrupting, sir. We'll get um, lawyer Timbo. Like I'm on, sir. Honorable Timbo. Uh, hello, uh, hello, lawyer. Hello, How are you, honorable? How are you, sir? How 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 the how, how the yagba after the election and during the election? Well, it's uh, it's a little challenging mm. because we feel like um, the democracy of this country has been um, abused as a political party. I'm going to say this as just an individual, but his position has been made very clear in several press releases that we don't put out. We're not satisfied with the election results. Mm -hmm. And we believe that the elections were blatantly stolen from the people, not even from the APC, and if the elections of the people then. We we just interv we just interviewed one of your colleagues, um uh, Mohamed Bango. I will not see as you watch the show. Um what's now you take? Um honestly I know uh see the interview with Mohamed Bangoa. Mm. I just um, joined you just now and I know that um I will even name a couple of times, so I don't know anything that he said. I don't know you before on social media, many things, including in broader way, cost me and say many things, but that is um, behind me now because in the moment I don't call to apologize. When God has said, if call and cost me, say, don't call and apologize. But for me, I've moved on with that. Well, um, Mohamed Bang. Bang as a brother. Mm. Mohamed Bangua say when I'm all a meeting, yeah, Mohamed Bangua say when I'm all a meeting at party office where the chairman talk for over one hour, 20 minutes. He say after immediately where the chairman don't talk down, he left the meeting. He say where he left the meeting. Now you call him, you call him and say why he not wait for me, um, he sign a letter. So now, now inside the your name coming. That is not correct. Huh? That is not correct. That is not correct. So that is not correct. You know, you're not correct. That's not correct. So it happened. Well, to the fact that um, the chairman in the trial for the year waiting past the NAC, mm -hmm. the decision of NAC, NAC are the second highest decision making body of the party. And my 2022 constitution is say that the decision of NAC is binding on every other subordinate organ, the body of the party. The parliamentary group now a body inside the constitution, the local council group now a body under the inside the constitution. body of the party don't take in binding on the members and the bodies including the, uh, the parliamentary group and the local council group so that's what the, the, the chairman was explaining and yes it took a long time for explaining but not necessarily means say um na, na, na one hour 20 minutes it took for explaining all that then apart from the chairman talking a few other people in talk including um people who the members of parliament, uh, I mean, um, elected representatives, people who go and go be members of parliament, that's that make their own contribution, a few, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And um, there the meeting, I think, and they didn't come up with a suggestion because there was no document, say, Ufa go and go sign. It was only this thing, say, we were informing the people, I mean, the. Okay, so since I'm on this, let me say, I put this right now on the. And the mental on the side. Right. So they were informing us that um, we're not for going to parliament because the party don't take a decision with an unpublished in a press release. Mm -hmm. So for sure, so we had endorsed this. They came up with the idea that uh, we need for sign the, 
the endorsement for their public notice for say, all of us, the local council, mayors and chairpersons, as well as the 54 members of parliament elect, we all endorse this. Um, I think about seven of us, now we really sit down for the draft. At that time, everyone was inside of our office, including Mohammed Mangora. He was inside there, we did the draft. <clears throat> our computer was the one that was used because me had asked the safety item. So it was typed, they said and go down, then print them out. We continued for day in a, in a meeting, another meeting again, while the members of parliament and me signed. In fact, this signing was done by the treasurer, because uh, not, not the treasurer, the financial sector, Naomi, they oversee the signing of the document. So after what's it brought the documents back to me, as a, sec as a deputy secretary, and then the attendance of Marek Bangura not signed. Marek Bangura and three other people there will be absent. They're not signed. Three other, two other people there with one, one person will be present, but in the left. So what I did, because Mohamed Bangura, I consider Mohamed as a friend, as a brother. So I called him and said, but there's no sign. That was it. Yeah, honorable, be, honorable, honorable. Yeah, honorable Timbo, uh, Mohamed Bangura, I'm inside the room where we will have distributed the letter for make everybody sign. Mohamed Bangura was there when the letter was discussed. When the letter was drafted, he was there. Discussion between me and Mohamed Bangura. All right. Mm. So, uh, um, for and, and at the end of the interview, uh, Mohamed Bangua, in your suggestion, uh, as a member of the APC party, say, um, oh. it's a party, oh. as a party, on a for dialogue and on a for compromise with Mada Bio at this point in time. What thing are you take as an executive member? That's a decision with the party for take. I cannot say that as an individual now. Don't forget, I'm a member I'm part of the national executive. So, as a small team, I know what I think. Um, but as a national office of the party, I have to um, be careful. I'm not saying something will mislead the public. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Timbo. Thank you very much. We'll keep it up. So, so, before Una the pitching, um, with waiting me get her from, let just make her because fam, family now, now we now we comment section, um, so they get a little bit of challenges. But the clear thing is, Mohamed Bangura be say, uh, after we the chairman don't talk over do monologue over one hour 20 minutes, um, nine, um, he left where you know, say, your concern will be raised, they not be you know, me a chance for raising concern. So he left immediately after that, that statement did. And the way it go on in way, nine uh, honorable Timbo call him, say, why you not sign? So the issue, the thing that way honorable Timbo don't can clear when I'm in a de, uh, uh, deputy national secretary general, what he don't can clear, he say, when the the initial uh, um, discussion with the go on for, for, for write the letter, you know, for let them go sign up, Mamwet Bangura was there. I think say to me your knowledge now when they don't write they write letter now because you know one sign according to the explanation so he left yeah. that is my understanding but if the are we are say a letter they in the process where they be they discuss exactly. say that they can write let everybody go endorse some as a parliamentarian council member even the the, the, the mayors then uh, so let them go sign so I think say it not be go down well with them. And he basically not be one for sign, so he left. So maybe, maybe, maybe you not favor the idea. You know, the idea. The idea. So, yeah. the, the, so uh, honorable Timbo don't can clear that side for we say what Timbo Mohamed Bangua say was wrong, basically. 
So now the word that uh, 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 Mr. Jalo and uh, uh, Mr. Fona, <laughs> Sulema. Hey, what you are, what you are um, seeing the whole thing, mm -hmm. the APC for actually stick to the guns because um, going into um, 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 court, where you say the court is one institution where all our, our country report, they don't just really dismiss and say they're crappy institutions. You know, not gonna pay. If an APC go to court, it's like, when I will be a process with SLPP, we will tie one in. And the, I can tell you how the international community the, the function here. You see, if the APC do what they do so, where they, re, they reject for going court, they reject for participating in parliament, it will continue to create more international attention. And this, I mean, if they do the reverse, they, 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 they seem for actually show uh, this kind of you know move that they are going to be creeping in with the SLPP, it makes their situation bad. Now, there's something they play that the geopolitics of West Africa, like particularly what did happen in Nigeria, the position of the head of state in Nigeria. I mean, if all that was, I mean, then they go well. Going is is, is something that going that's going to work in the in the favor of the people of Sierra Leone. Yeah, because if. Like and don't forget don't what happened in Senegal recently. That's what I'm saying. I mean, these are things where you go get a very positive effect on the situation. Salio, for example, like within Tinebo de Nusso, if they bring that election day to question, they ensure they actually even find out saying the electoral commission will play a really big role for rig that election day and everything. And they show leadership where they actually set that particular example day. It works very, very well for us. It's going to shame a lot of people in a Sierra Leone. You know, the international community will only pay attention when they see this continuous stance from the opposition yeah. of non-participation. Yeah. How will they run a government when you need an opposition if they want given a funding, you need an opposition if they want given a, you know, they want engage with the government in so many different, different projects. We have a country where almost 60 something percent of the country's budget, the 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 other kind of stuff, uh, governor we don't talk about a bigger bigger economy. What that means is like, <laughs> I mean, in terms of salary, parastatals, and you know, the government sixty percent of the government is funded by the field by the international community. So this is the kind of economy we have. How can we function? How can these people engage with the government with the opposition? So this is a good thing the APC has done. Take it as a particular strong stand and stick. It together, now it will make a difference because when Madabi don't spend a few months, it also, if, of course, for five years, investors are really going to that country because you go around, look at all the beach, go around all the different places. There's also black money, they see, they see which man itself, like a country where you know, during the 10 years of Alice by Koroma, you see a lot of tourists, you will see a lot of people at the beach. It means that the country was welcoming, but for the five years of Madabi. You go around and so only a few social bloggers um, from US wake up where they still ask the question, where are all the visitors? Where are all the tourists? And a lot of people only wake up to this image and this reality. For five years, I mean, Rachel, nobody brought their money. A simple bakery, not even a council of Fogo even open a bakery. That is just personal investment of somebody. A bakery, these people make noise for a bakery. That not actually even send shivers down your spine that this country is dying. A simple bakery owned by a fuller man from Guinea, where make them make a big noise about it. I begin to ask questions, they all shock. This is so funny. You see how they even dance for this election. You know, see some of them they, they hide by the t-shirts more. If, if you really want to dance for that election, they pull out in. So you begin to see that these people, but you would only 30 years in America. Australia, Canada, this and that. You see excellent politicians, there, excellent societies, excellent services when they deliver to you in your Pekine. Then you go come. You can't dance for a stolen election like this way from the beginning to the end. You see all the evidence are there black and white in this digital age. Videos. So that might not mind. I want to play two videos quickly. Well, 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 well,
has taken the best stance in this situation. Right. Had it been that the international community been get a picture otherwise, say the elections were transparent, the APC was only trying to be recalcitrant, then it would have been counterproductive for the APC to take this position. But now it is clear globally that the elections are not transparent. And of course, for me and you, we know the economic reality and we know the reason why people and they vote. We know, say, there is no way possible, and not okay, care whatever they say, juju or whatever, which I don't believe in, for make the people of Sierra Leone become zombies and go vote for the man where they do the wrong thing. Right. If the APC stand up to this position, it means one thing. Way back in 1987-88, when Dr. Jim Fonner started negotiating with the international community, let them come back to Sierra Leone, one of the conditionalities where they've been put, and that came especially from the British, is that we must go back to multi-party um, um, politics. Okay? So if now we have a situation wherein we are going to have a de facto one-party state, this is not by law. It's by circumstance. So it's a de facto one-party state. Mm -hmm. If we go back to that, it means the international community would have a lot of questions about funding projects in Sierra Leone. And another thing we'll get for look at, because these guys, they are fools. They are fooling themselves. Yeah. If we have to ask that and left we, we can go Ooh. China. We can go Middle Russia. East to Qatar. No, Russia is out of the matrix. Okay? But let me give you a geoeconomic scenario. China is doing more business with America and Europe going into trillions of dollars. They wouldn't miss that for a bunch of idiots in a small country in West Africa. Okay? The people in the Middle East, watch the Middle East recently. They are building an economic strength by investing in Europe and America. Manchester City is owned by the sovereign fund. Paris Saint-Germain is owned by a sovereign fund. Manchester United soon will follow suit. These guys are investing in different departments to make more profit for their sovereign funds. And they are investing in countries that are holding this government accountable. Do you think they will mess up that for a bunch of idiots? If you ask me, no. So what's the third alternative? They might go in for dirty money. And I'll tell you this, the DA is a lot. So it's a losing battle. It's a losing battle. Now, way, you know, you get a lot of people in Sierra Leone, they claim for a PhD, but they don't think they are zombies. Then before they advise Julius Madab, you say, look, my friend, back down on this thing. Let me talk this thing. Let me go back into elections. It's the simple way forward. Uh, boy, they are like creeping something here on what in boy is say so. You know, okay, look, okay, you have Nigeria taking this particular position today. But if you look at the circumstances of both elections, we own is so crude. The way we do it, this election as Sierra Leone is like going backward to 1960s. I mean, when was the last time when I hear um, um, a, 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 a ruling party, they intimidate the members, they intimidate members of the opposition, they harass them, they intimidate them. From the very first particular point, this election was so crude onto uh, these five years is just is just weird in Sierra Leone. This five very years very weird. Very, very weird. And anytime there's an SLPP in power, you look at the Amit Jacobals. Uh, SLPP in the country. That is how they are. <laughs> they make a FP country with short pairs and t-shirts and slippers. <laughs> I mean, Bora Jamboria. You see, you see the, 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 the thing where they always fail them. I can tell you, the they always fail them. But they always fail, I can tell you, Rachel. With my own experience with the Amity Jankaba regime, they use very massive propaganda. They draw in other fools them 
from the APC, I don't go name name tonight, so I will I respect some few of them, particularly certain female, when they use in the international dangerous propaganda. Can you imagine a war way for no end in 1997? Ebo, then tell the way Kriyoma rebel get him, we don't have rebel, the rebel they can't have a fit out. Huh? They say we let this war done. done. They say we want to learn, we want an end to this war and everything. Is that not a time no, 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 question the rationale of Saudi <laughs> people? Is that not a time when people are going to think, say, oh, this is an opportunity, Lord deserve, Lord demobilize, Lord make the war could have ended in 1997. Exactly. Even the dead heads for think. That late girl when they go kill mercilessly, kill a samba, she did the same a lot. That is the time they all come with their guns in. That is the time for Abati Jakama to say, okay, yes, let's have form a government of national identity. We disarm, we demobilize, we reintegrate, we this, that, blah, blah, blah. But what's happened? No, we didn't go out. They dragged the gun back with the gun, they bush the gun back with the bush. Who's kind of sense this? You don't know, ever see at this world. It ended up to over 25,000 people died. 6,000 died in January 6, 1999, along January. Other 15,000 died all across the country. And it won't end up now if they go make peace now in the year 2000. What's going to go do in the year 2000? Yeah, make a lot of people quick, please. Guys, you're a man. 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 Also, you know, the Kamajoy will never want to say, don't do that. When they, they arrest them, they're on the only SLP people, and the only party will get record where 30 70 of the Kamajos a day in prison in Rwanda. 75 of them, including the Kamajoy head priest in Doha, is in Rwanda prison for war crimes. It's then a cover up. up. We will discuss it at okay, another can, can, time. Can, can, can. Go ahead, go ahead. Say, I have a strong message, and that is what politics is about. <laughs> Not about region, tribe, or how you look, you know. No. Now, for solve national problems, provide public goods, we will make everybody able to do what you want for do. So, we have to keep the peace, but at the same time, I think in defense of our nation, we get to make certain people and quarters know that we are an independent nation. And with everything that they happen elsewhere, we also deserve our own respect. Yes. Some of them are they can talk to them, but some people they talk the wrong thing. And some people, for small money, then they sell their nation. Yes. So, why we the fight for keep the peace? We're gonna get a very important, we're gonna have big stakeholders, now for also, they talk the right thing. Men they know not to government they defend itself. Now the people they says this is our country. Yes. If this is your country, you have a right to say it. Yes. If you not say them, then you keep them, or you just subject yourself to the will of other people, then you just betray your nation. Yes. Me, I don't take oath. Several times where they enter the military, we had done this uh, uh, president the first time, the second time, this and the third time. So if Naswe, if Naswe don't start. <laughs> Yes. Now, oh, the Bible can they talk about the swear, and they hold it on my hand. So I owe it to my God, my conscience, and my own value system for deliver as much as I can for protect this nation. I want to make one know, say, Nobody will not get any other place where you go home that's ready. You either go there with visa or you hold a passport. Even when you hold a passport, you for no. Anytime they're ready for get, to get you out of the place, then they do one. So, I lie, they lie, so. we forget the, the kind of attachment to this. Till the book, a sack capital. Nobody, we didn't say, not in democracy. The young democracy, now we've gone there. No, so. Every day, people that do so, who are we? Now, your country, there's no take care of yourself. But it is also not fair, and it is unfortunate <coughs> when some of them are out in a civil society, you keep quiet or you not talk against that and let the government want for defend. 
Okay, guys, we wrap, we wrap up now, man. It's a lot. So, so my let, opinion about some so of this. Let me just speeches. give the, the premise. Let me just wrap up with this with this one, um, Mr. Jalo. Yes, um, <laughs> what thing are you you take on this? Um, then two statements, or then some of them comments or statements where come on that president and mother bio emotes the way they talk say the woman them or the civil society day it's like inciting them for let it come against the international community salona a sovereign country and it's a lot of, of course when you listen what's in a you take message that speaking, that 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 speaking in two person. minutes please if you ask me, because now I they look at issues from a very complex platform, Julius Madabio does not want to come out and say, I lost, I am ready to go. He is doing what you call in psychology self sabotage. In ego, not they allow him for accept, but the conscience they force him. For do everything for offend the international community so that they will go pull and they by force. <laughs> it's a psychological game playing within his mind. You know, you need for be vast in psychology for understand some of them things here. He's a deeply confused man. He pretends to be saying things as if they are right, but the message it's the reverse of what he's saying. If they offend the international community willfully because he knows it, when they vex, money not they come, the whole thing will go basak. And when all thing go basak, what thing we not expect now go be? He's creating a, a, a condition for doom. That's so misiam. But he said, but he said international community, they're not me deal with you in the world, they're all going to be the left way. Well, not true, not true, they're not being there. Like, come on, like, we saw a woman in the world, say the world don't know what's happening. But me, want you to have no... No, 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 just, not just correct that side. It's, it's a full... Because at 20,000... No, it's not where you go get your bite. It's not where you go get your bite. I'll make this point, I'll allow you. Yeah. One thing I know, I was not in Sierra Leone at that time, but I know the British willfully created the conditions for them to get into the war and end it had it not been for that west side boys issue near okroil operation barbarossa when the british come in then from there then spread all over the country and the some people them they won as sierra leone possibly before still there because sierra leone they don't deteriorate into factions where they on asymmetrical warfare for survival. We were on a mode of operation pay yourself. When nobody not been in control, not even Tijan Kaba. And the British end the war. So if Madabio say they're not been there, then let him know say some of who been there, they up to 1998. We know say that the British end the war. Secondly, had it not been for British activities assisting with gawkers assisting with getting executive outcomes of south africa to be involved in the war the rdf been for take saloon absolutely I'll go end and day. we will discuss then here later because yeah. all reach now for begin say the truth for people they will not know hey, over to you uh, suleiman two minutes now I'll just uh, address um, analyze and just briefly first of all he's wrong over twenty thousand forces were in Sierra Leone for actually bring the final peace. Had it not been for yeah. the international community, that country was dead. We actually exactly. lose track of every damn thing that our country did. Had it not been for international uh, intervention. So let us just sit on that side. Number two, you talk about swearing oath. Oh, look at the background of Malawi. In 1992, that was the first time they, 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 they destroyed democracy in Sierra Leone. When we did not usher in the 1991 multi-party constitution to that country elections were set for 1992 and the chief was Shabuima, and then southeast the chief the way we don't say the um, um certain members in the slpp will not get a really good ride with apc throughout the one party state where we are not inclined to go to the slpp and the apc could have won 1992 election that was the reason why the nprc coup came so that was the first time when man abiyo that destroyed democracy come Cherry constitution said they didn't rule by constitution, they rule by decree. That was the first time Malabio showed up. They came as a lieutenant 
This is a possible way to understand the natural laws of progression. He promotes himself from a <laughs> lieutenant to brigadier general in just six months. <laughs> in a country, we don't get military tank, we don't get helicopter, we don't get surface to air missiles, we don't get a pamper boat, so we get steady with the patrol. And then boats in the run. Pamper boats. There's a lot of people in self, now in the help we self for help for patrol. We sure we get better boats. Now in we still get general in Sierra Leone. So this is the kind of thinking of person. And of course, we attempted being to money too for rig power back again, try for test the pulse of the people. But then we told him we are not fools. We rejected B2 Money 2 in 1995. We go into election 1996, a rogue for SLPP. That was the province and Giam uh, against UNPP who won that election for the first time in yeah. yeah. You have a opposition party that my father belonged to. They won that election and go into a runoff. These people, they rogue, they rogue with them. You see, this thing is still in election to today. This, this, this man of you and people. So they, he did that in 1996. That was a promise SLPP gave. SLP came into office. They do the worst kind of policies there will lead to a tribunal in 2000, of which majority of the SLP people, people we are arraigned in the court of tribunal in 2000, 70 of them are languishing in jail. Their defense minister died in prison in Senegal. This is going to repeat in Sierra Leone. So this is the same person, the same actor, we don't go through all this tradition. We don't get any taste of any civilized Western kind of setting. Like where we don't spend 20 years rich, yourself, Rachel, or any other person we didn't do so well overseas today. Where at least you brain for on change now, Rachel. I mean, uh, uh, Mr. Egerton, at least you said you, you, we all for don't grow a different kind of mindset today. You know? So today, it is not about LPC. Today, it is about setting precedence where in future, no, no, they on our grave. Yeah. We will grant picking and steal the fit. Yeah. This will happen in Sierra Leone. If we, we don't see the, few, the fruit of all this beauty that the international world today, if we not come and you look at who say they live today, you don't go see any of them people in America or in the UK, they accept this kind of politics or this kind of politics without standing for the truth. That is all with what is needed. Whether you're born in Southeast, whether you're in an APC, whether you're in this, and that this is about Sierra Leone. This is about theory will affect you maybe five years down the track. Exactly. And that thing you might see yourself as a politician five years old, Miss Mangura. You might see yourself five years down the track. They, and co people come into steal elections from you back again. If we continue to accept this kind of uh, uh, pre precedence, then that so to us that we will continue. So, this is where I'll end it. I'll just say I want to thank Nigeria. I hope Nigeria, the most populous country in West Africa, will set a really good example. May they set good example so we, we, we will change the dynamics in African setting. Otherwise, this election stealing that a new phenomenon we need for change. And the position of APC, we will only save them, we will save this nation, is the position where APC takes right now. Exactly. Of non participation, or even block yes to any bloody religious person. Tell them, let them go to Hosanna. This is how we all have them. Let them go to hell. Block they yes got, to they got the rest on their religious part and they, they, they worship. You know, they are alive. You yes. don't die. This is how it will bring in the international attention. People who have their money will not participate in Sierra Leone. Nobody will bring money, $100 million outside people in Nepal. No investment that they can. They, they, they that's, 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 and they blame the opposition. They don't want to say that they, for they blame themselves because that they create all this mess. That's why people don't come with their money. Me get ten million dollars. They say, say I don't go invest in Banjuna. So I do go invest. Who say plan by the way tomorrow? Tomorrow they don't slap me. Or I go build. Who say they go they go burn? I go build businesses. Okay, so they go burn yours tomorrow. Thank you, so much. So thank you so much, very much. I mean, it's it's been a long but very very, you know. Oh educative and deep conversation as always where we get with Una and we also want to tell Mohamed Bangua thank you Ace of Time <laughs> Chia, well, thank you very much and I wish you know, I mean, goodbye from here yeah. <laughs> well, right. okay. you know Ace of Time Chia, in your own views and all of that you know and um, going forward um, 
just that video where you last play with you know the women uh where mother beauty continue for use you know and i believe similar to all women organization the day they are that you know but the women's forum has always been uh, um part of you know and um, the um the slpp governance supporting whatever whether it's good or bad the women's forum has always been and i know say not to all women organizations share that views they where the women's forum always they do or even with president the one for incites them for letting turn against the international community or even the people of sierra leone um where they say una way they talk to them una way they talk to them and go tell them say na this na that na that you know so um as we they end the program i just want to say i am yet to see one day where the apc go take a decision and all of them then a one page because this has been the concern of Sierra Leoneans. This has been also um, a concern of a lot of people. Um, where one thing I understand, uh, um, Shaba, SLPP they take decision. We don't come on a one person emote, whether it good or whether it bad. Or, yes. They all they speak with one voice. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then implement them. Uh, uh, exactly. They are, they are brutal. You know? No, but what I mean, they all they speak with one voice. Whether it yeah, you, because they are afraid of the repercussions, Rachel. Yes, the APC yes. is democratic. It's democratic. That's what I want to say. That with the APC, you have even where executive say this, you have other quarters from the APC where go can and say the or the opposite or go canvas get a controversial opinion or decisions or waiting the you know the executive don't say so this is how democratic you know the apc has been and yeah. people take it for weakness you know somehow it's, not, it's, not, it's not yeah no i'm just saying that's the opinion people take it for weakness but everybody inside the apc then they give them the privilege for exercise and democratic right when in they always continue for do so so on this point i me just want to say thank you it has been a long but very interesting conversation and i want to say thank you to me to viewers them we keep the conversation intact and going with their own objective opinion as the program they go when i continue for follow we continue for follow my page rachel bangura davis and also continue for follow the Egatin Shaba platform as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Jalo, for always coming thank in. You, when you're thank, in you, thank you, thank you for you so having much. me. But me, I don't <laughs> give up on Nabo. I tire. <laughs> I don't need old now. Now I get time for myself. <laughs> well, I go cry past all the fumble and fumble bearing. Fumble and fumble bearing. Fumble and fumble bearing. This platform that entertainment and politics. <laughs> so I make this clear now entertainment and politics and I'm even the cost now entertainment let me no, no, tell no, them wait, I want this, I want this somebody. <laughs> and I mean right for dinner for talk about politics 100 percent I got I got it I want to make I want to make people that know for yes we self we first for we come to give me the war because during the war where some man they won't go give me and I'll be on side them even the president won't go he won't come out of the country I was there, I was working on the radio till the end. Yeah. Till the end. I was there. I risked my life all night. You woke my radio station for Sierra Leone. Thank you very we much. We were there. We but, were there. Um, um, please, I want to address this issue. Uh, um, um, I got in on this platform. Please just give me one minute. This government, now this reverse psychology, they always they play on Sierra Leoneans for make you back down. Exactly. You know, anybody explanation, I don't get no point for proof when I come on social media. Because now this this government and the sympathize and they always they play Barcelona, they make you feel like what you they do, you are wrong and what you they do they're right. I don't owe anybody explanation of me role where I don't play for the people of Sierra Leone or for myself. Or for even for make a change in that country, day, and not on nobody explanation. So even if you say, "Oh, you're not supposed for talk," I will not answer you. I will not give you that right privilege day. because what you know, right now so this SLPP done the play pan salon people and say we day out they so today for beginning no, 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 no. say we your opinion wrong, they your opinion right. I owe you no explanation. Full final stop. 
We know but, nobody explanation from the people who are in the middle of the world. So, what I told you, you will not know your now. Black don't come to the cyber, I'm not to your own. I'm not going to go to the cyber. 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 And that's what you are going to say. I got in before I go. Who don't want to cost me? Where it cost me three, they cost back you. Cost me any kind cost. You see, where you point a finger, three points at you. Thank you very much, sir. We're from Bulena, so we will left for now. We will get back next weekend. Please do not continue for share the live. We do appreciate your comments and questions. And we'll get, we'll get pleasant um, Sunday.